Okay, I'm gonna try to film this video without the fan on. It is really hot, so it might have to come on at some point. But anyway, after a long break of filming, I've been uploading my full fragrance collection and I um, tested these and getting hair stuck everywhere. I tested these and wrote notes about them um, while we had our temporary roommate. So I've been holding on to the notes for the Etat Libre de Range for a while. Excuse me if I am butchering any of the pronunciations. I am Cajun and we basically just butcher French. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and um, get started with um, the fragrances that are included in this discovery set. There are seven here. It opens and you get a little pamphlet with some information about the brand and a short description of each fragrance. The fragrances included are Dangerous Complicity, Remarkable People, Jasmine et Cigarette, Fat Electrician, Like This, Cologne, and I'm gonna say this wrong, Putain de Palaces. I don't know. Anyway, this is what they look like. Actually, the sprayers are facing outwards. I just turned them in once I finished um, testing them. As far as the packaging goes, I feel like it's a lot of wasted space. However, you can reuse the tin, so whatever. Um, yeah, so I've got my notes on my phone. <laughs> okay, so the first one I tried was a Dangerous Complicity. The um, the notes listed are rum, ginger, bay leaf, coconut, calamus, osmanthos, jasmine, lang lang, patchouli, and leather, lorinox, sandalwood, cashmere wood, and that's it. Yeah, so this is a nice boozy scent. The bay leaf and the rum go really nicely together. I like the sweetness of the rum. Um, the bay leaf, the aromatic kind of scents of the bay leaf lifts it up. The coconut plays really well with the rum, so it's like a nice sweet scent that's not too heavy. It's kind of lifted up by the other aromatic scents, by the other aromatic notes in here. It lasted about four hours on my skin, so I was hoping for longer than that, but the second one that I tried was Fat Electrician. The notes listed in this are Vetiver Accord, Chestnut Cream, Olive Leaf, Vanilla, Apopanox, and uh, in myrrh. This one was really, really, really nice. I really enjoyed this one. It lasted over eight hours. I'd really like to get some of this. Uh, next I tried Remarkable People. The notes are listed as a grapefruit, champagne, accord, cardamom, jasmine, curry, black pepper, labdanum, sandalwood, and lorinox. There's something greener in this one then I feel like is listed. Um, maybe it's if the curry note is more like a fresh curry leaf, that could have been it. It starts off relatively masculine and kind of transitions into more of a feminine scent. So it is quite interesting and it did last over eight hours. Uh, next I tried Like This, which was a um, Tilda Swinton collaboration. The notes listed in this are Yellow Mandarin, Ginger, Pumpkin, Immortelle, Moroccan Neroli, Grass Rose, Vetiver, Heliotrope, and Musks. This one was very, very light on me and it hardly lasted at all. Um, this could be my body chemistry. I know a lot of people enjoy this one, but it, on me it was just kind of barely there. I can't really review this one or give my thoughts on it too much because it just didn't work on my skin for some reason. Not in a bad way but in just that it was almost just not there. Next I tried Jasmine et Cigarette. Um, the notes listed in this are Jasmine Absolute, Tobacco, Apricot, Tonka, Hay, Cedar, Amber, Musk. And um, this one was very sweet. I got mostly Jasmine from this. There's the musk that's in this is the musk that doesn't work for me. There's a certain musk that does not work on my skin that almost turns sour and that's what was that's the musk that was in this and I can't fault the fragrance for that. That's totally my body chemistry. Um, it lasted about four hours 
and um, I know a lot of people do enjoy this one so if that, those notes sound like something you're interested in definitely give it a shot. Okay the one that I'm having trouble pronouncing, Putain de Palaises. These notes are listed as Rose Absolute, Violet, Leather, Mandarin, Ginger, Amber, Animal Notes, and Face Powder. So there's an iris-like note that's in this. It's powdery but deep um, so I guess that that's the face powder <laughs> that's supposed to be in this and after a while it turns mostly to like a soft amber scent. I'm, I don't get much ginger or rose from this and within an hour it turned into a skin scent. This one just didn't last on my skin. It was really nice though. I, I love amber and I love iris. Okay and lastly I tried cologne. Um, this one includes green notes, blood orange, orange blossom, bergamot, jasmine, musk, and leather. And apparently I forgot to write the notes about this. It's uh, very nice and refreshing. It's a very green citrusy scent. It's not like a juicy or tangy citrus, but it's got that sort of like herbaceous mixed with citrus scent. Too. There's a little bit of sweetness. The bergamot definitely comes through and the jasmine I think is providing some of that sweetness. From what I remember I really enjoyed this one. It lasted a really really long time on my skin. I know it lasted over eight hours which is really great for a cologne type scent. After you wear it for a while there's a little bit of that leather that comes through that just kind of adds a little, little bit of edginess to it and yeah. So my favorite out of these two are Fat Electrician and Cologne. I, there are a ton more from this brand that I would really like to try. I think this brand is really, really interesting and I really enjoy trying their scents. So if you have tried any of these, let me know. Or if, it, if you've tried anything from this brand, let me know. Let me know what you thought. If there is something that you think I should test out, uh, let me know. Yeah, and that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me. That is all I've got for you today. Until next time.